In this video, I am going to show you how to get mods for Minecraft Java version 1.21.11. So let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, go to your search bar and search up mod rinth like so. Now enter, here you'll find mod.com, click on mod rinth, and then you'll find that we are on the mod rinth homepage. Here, simply go to discover content on the top of the website, then go to mods. Now you will notice that we have a bunch of mods for Minecraft. But these are not only for Minecraft 1.21.11, they can be any version. So now just go to game version and select 1.21.11. This will select only the updated mods. And here we see that we have a bit less mods. Of course, there will be way more mods in the future when the actual mod developers update the mods. Anyways, so that is the first thing here. You will also notice that some mods run on Fabric, Neoforge, Quilt, and even Forge. So what happens here is that you need to make sure that you have a client slash loader in mind. So if we go down and we go to loader here, you can select something like Fabric and only Fabric mods will show up. Or you can select something like Neoforge and only Neoforge mods will show up. Of course, some mods can support multiple loaders at once. So let's say that we want one for fabric and I will also have videos in the description to every single one of these loaders here to how to get, get them specifically for your device. So let's say that we want forge. I'm going to show you how to get fabric today, but if you want forge, neo forge or quilt and you have any issues, I will have videos in the description showing you how to do this. But in this case, let's say we want a fabric mod for 1.21.11. And we want to take a classic like Sodium or Iris Shaders. I'm going to show you Iris Shaders in this case because basically if you click on the name of the mod and you are on the page here, what you want to do is go to versions and then you want to go to game versions and select 1.20.11 and then you want to go to platform and select fabric. We chose fabric in this case. Here you want to download the file aka the latest file that you can have from this and just click the green download button. Here we now have iris shaders and the other thing you want is to check if there is any dependencies. So if you click on the name here, you will see that we have a dependency called sodium. Now iris is a bit special because it requires specific versions of sodium. Most, most mods just basically require you just to get a specific global version. This one is a specific sodium mod version, but if you click this here, it will just bring you to the version page specifically for this. So if you don't click anything and just click the green download button, it will be a bit hard to fail. So that is the second thing here. We have our mod, we have our dependency, and both of them are for fabric. So make sure that is also a thing. Now we need to get ourselves fabric as we chose fabric mods. So we just go to a new tab, we go to our search bar, and we search up fabric minecraft. If you chose something like Forge, you'll just do Forge Minecraft. Neo Forge, you can just type in Neo Forge and Quilt to do Quilt MC or Quilt and Minecraft. And you should see the own loader pages, the websites for them. But we just do enter on Fabric here and he will find FabricMC.net. Just do Fabric and then we'll find that we have the Fabric homepage here. So here, just go to the blue download button. And if you're on Windows, do download for Windows. Or if you're not on Windows, just do download Universal Jar. But I'll just do download for Windows in this case. And now we have the fabric installer. So this is basically all you need here for this specific mod. So you can just go ahead and close or minimize your web browser. So we'll just close it. And from there, we'll just go to our file explorer to access our downloads folder. Here we have Ibis, Sodium and Fabric. So let's just double click the fabric installer first. And this will show up with the installer. So here, all you have to do is just click install and you're done. Now just do OK and close. Now we'll go to your Minecraft launcher and all you have to do is just add the two mods to the mods folder which is quite easy and just start up the game. So here we have Fabric Loader and all you have to do is go to installations here on the top. Then you want to hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. Here you will notice that we have a mods folder 
If you don't have one because you chose something like Neoforge, Forge or Quilt, just go ahead and make a new one and call it Mars. Okay, so once you're here, double click the folder. Once you're in the folder, go to Downloads. Once you're here, all you want to do is find your mods. Here we have two of them, for example. Just select them, do copy, and go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. Here you copy pasted Sodium and Iris in dark Minecraft mods. So just go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure Fabric is selected, and click play. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up. Now again, different mods will mean you have different amount of mods. You might also just have chosen a mod pack, which is like a bunch of mods together. So whatever you have will just depend on how fast the game will load and what the mods actually do in game. Now Sodium modifies how the game renders and gives you more settings for the video settings. And also it also simply resets your Minecraft uh, GUI size as well for some reason. But like basically this is Minecraft and if your game didn't crash, it most likely worked. So if we go to a single player world, for example, this sodium might also work on realms and servers. It does work, but there you go. And we also have Iris on top of this. So this means that if we go to escape, options, video settings, we will have Iris where we can add shades to the game. And we also have sodium, which gives us default sodium feature as well. So yeah, that is how we get mods for Minecraft and it just works. Again, you might have different mods which might do completely different things, but in this case we just have Iris and Sodium which let us use shaders for the game. So yeah, in today's video I showed you how to download and install mods for Minecraft Java version 1.21.11. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!